all things plant-based holistic health and wellness. My name is Lauren. I've been whole food plant-based for seven years and I have a bachelor's degree in nutrition. I built this channel because I really wanted to share the health with you. Going plant-based changed my life and I've been happier than I've ever been before. So that's really why this channel exists. Today we are talking about morning routines and more specifically, we're talking about how to have a really healthy, happy morning routine that fuels you for your entire day. If you are into holistic plant-based health and wealth videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. Today we are talking about morning routines. I am sharing with you my morning routine that fuels me for the day. We're gonna talk about activities, the first things I like to do when I wake up, some mind activities, some beverages I drink in the morning for fuel. Life can be busy and I really like to have a routine set up in the morning that I can go to every single day that fuels me to be the best version of me throughout the day. I think the whole idea is to really design a morning routine for you, a morning routine that really fuels you and then you can just go back to it every single morning and you don't have to think about it. I prep these things sometimes the night before. I have all my stuff set out the night before. So when I wake up in the morning, there's no decision making. It's just I get up and do, and it provides me with so much fuel for the rest of the day, mental clarity, calm, peace, all the things that I want to operate at my fullest potential. I've designed these things to kind of benefit my mind, body, and soul. We really can be the best version of ourselves when we're operating with all of these things kind of in focus. So first off, I want to give a special thank you to Winged Wellness for sponsoring this video. All the opinions, all the routines, all of this stuff are things I've been designing for over a year, but we will get to that later. So when I first wake up, I think it is so important to immediately get light in. I really do like to wake up as the sun is rising, but if it's before the sun is rising, I just kind of open the windows. So when the sunlight can start streaming in, it will. So that's the first thing I do as soon as I wake up are open the windows to let light stream in. After I let the light in and run to the bathroom, I like to do a quick journaling session. So this is a really simple thing. Sometimes this takes longer than others. If I feel like I have a lot on my mind, I actually will take some time to journal that out. I feel like when we have a lot going on upstairs, if we're worried about something, if we just, we have a lot of thoughts, sometimes it's really, really helpful to get that down on paper and kind of out of your head. But if I don't have much time, I still take a couple minutes to just write down three things I'm grateful for. Gratitude can seriously alter the chemistry of our minds. I believe that wholeheartedly. When we start paying attention to all the beauty and all of the things we've been blessed with in our life, everything around us starts to look different. And I think when everything around us starts to look different and we're grateful for what we have, we draw in more positive things. If you can just think about someone in your life who you know is very positive and then think about someone who is very negative, what does the negative person attract themselves? Probably more negative stuff. If you constantly wake up from a place of lack and the first thing you think when you wake up is what you're missing or what's wrong, you're just gonna be drawing more of that to yourself. And this can be hard. I think we're wired as humans sometimes to kind of look for threats or what's wrong. If you can start thinking as soon as you wake up about the things that you are grateful for, you will literally alter the good that comes into your life. You'll start drawing more and more goodness to you. So I like to make gratitude a priority in my life because I just want to keep attracting good things. I don't remember this every single morning, but that's why I have the journal next to me. So as soon as I see it, my brain is triggered like, write down your gratitude list. And this is different every single day. It could be being grateful for having a safe place to sleep at night, a warm place to sleep at night, uh, the ability to shower in the morning. It could be the incredible people in my life. It could be gratitude to myself for, for having ambition and self-love. It, it, whatever comes to your mind, just write it down and you just get in the habit of thinking about what you're grateful for right off the top of the day. So after the journal sesh, if I have time in the morning, I like to read a few pages of a self-development book or a business book. This really primes my day for getting after it. So this always changes. I do have an Amazon shop with my favorite book recommendations listed. I'm going to link that shop below. Books are so powerful 
for knowledge, for teaching us. I mean, we've never lived in a time like we do now before where we not only have books, but we also have courses online. We have so much knowledge and information out there available to us. So I love just taking a couple moments in the morning. Maybe I only read a page, maybe I read 10 pages, but to really be in the habit of reading and expanding my mind. Books are incredible and there's just so many good ones out there. I'll link below all my book racks. The morning is a perfect time to get a little reading in. So after I do the journaling and the reading, I like to get outside right away. I believe so strongly in fresh air and getting a little sunlight first thing in the morning. I work from home and if I struggle when I don't go outside in the morning. Like, let's say I wake up late and I feel too anxious to go outside. I sometimes start work. I'm wishing that I went outside. I wish that I took 10 minutes after like the first two hours of my day. I feel strange when I don't get outside first thing in the morning. And I think that is really because it is important to us as human beings to get fresh air, to see nature. If you are in a city and you know any parks or spots that you can visit, that you can be around trees or nature, I really recommend it. I've started doing walks where sometimes I'll listen to an audiobook or podcast to expand my mind, but then there's other mornings when I feel like I just really need to be present and connect with what's around me. The more present I can be in the moment, sometimes that really helps me be more effective in other areas of my life, in my work. I get ideas when I'm present. If I don't quiet my mind, I'm just basically running, running, running and not stopping and taking a step back. So going for a walk, being out in nature, if you can just kind of get quiet and focus on the small things around you, the small, beautiful things around you, like if there's birds chirping, if the, what the sky looks like, if the sun is rising, how beautiful that looks. The more we can focus on these beautiful things around us, I think the more beauty will attract into our life. So the morning walk is hugely important to me. I actually used to be a runner and I started really dreading it. I think running's incredible and I think it can be really incredible for the mind as well. It can also be really tricky on the body. And just over time, I was noticing I was like dreading going on the runs, but walking, I'm obsessed with and I can't wait to walk every single day. So I let go of that need to run and just started walking. After the morning walk, I come back and I usually do 10, 20 minutes of Pilates or yoga. I really like to stretch and lengthen my body in the morning and get just a tiny bit of toning in. So I love Boho Beautiful. They have a YouTube channel with just incredible yoga flows. I'm gonna link them below. I also love Melissa Wood Health her Pilates membership. She has such fantastic flows, centering flows. Some mornings, if I'm feeling like I have a lot of energy and I want to really work out first thing in the morning, I will do a workout from Jamie Fit platform, which I will link her platform below. This is a lot of like functional strength training. Sometimes there's HIIT in there, sometimes Tabata. Most of the time I'll do her workouts later in the day after my work day when I've been sitting for a while and I really want to move my body. But sometimes if I have a ton of energy in the morning, I'll start the morning with her workout. I also love to have a big jar of lemon water when I'm doing Pilates. So usually when I come back from the walk, I will stop by the kitchen, just do a huge, I'd like a like clear mason jar just first thing in the morning because I'm seeing the water and remembering drink the water because <laughs> I forget a lot of times. So I just fill a mason jar, put ice, water, add, you know, squeeze like a whole lemon into the jar and then bring that with me when I go and lay on my mat and do Pilates or yoga and just drink that. After I come back and I do maybe 10 to 20 minutes of stretching or Pilates, I will also get a meditation in. Meditation has been very key for my growth as a human being. If you've never done meditation, I completely get how it seems like, what is the big deal? But um, after years of doing it, I really actually understand how much of an impact it's made on my life. I used to be extremely emotional, extremely reactive. Like just for an example, if my boyfriend and I would get in a fight, it would feel like the end of the world inside. And like, I needed something to happen right in that second when we were fighting to like ease the discomfort I was feeling. Meditation has allowed me to like step back from an emotion and actually sit in uncomfortable feelings, which is a very key skill for growth in life. If we can sit in discomfort, whether that's our work, 
whether that is some sort of personal pain, we can grow through that. So that's really what it taught me. It, it, meditation taught me that not every thought needs to kind of be end all or be all, that it is just a thought and it will pass. Really when I can, when I have the time, I try to make an effort to do at least 10 minutes of meditation. Right now I'm really doing guided meditation, so I'll do a Boho Beautiful meditation. I'll link up some of their meditations below if you wanna try theirs. Melissa Wood Health has meditation. Jamie, at the end of her workout, she also puts a meditation. Anywhere you start with meditation is a good place to start and continue the journey though because it is an incredible, incredible practice. After I meditate, I like to make celery juice. I know this sounds like a huge long ordeal. I can make celery juice usually in five minutes. I literally just grab the celery out of the fridge, cut the ends off and run it through the juicer. I rinse the juicer right away because if you leave a juicer sitting with pulp in it, it is much harder to clean. Pour that in a glass and then I run into the shower, not run, but I get into the shower. I put my celery juice like on the bathroom counter. I hop into the shower, wash off basically from any of the morning workout sweat. And then I like to turn the water to cold and do a mini cold shower. So right now I'm only doing about 60 seconds. I'd like to work up to like a three minute cold shower. It will wake your body up like nothing else. And cold showers are not that fun, but it is literally like the most discomfort you're gonna have in the morning is that shower. And you're gonna feel awesome when you're done and so ready to take on your day because you just forced yourself to be uncomfortable, woke your body up and had a cold shower. So the cold shower thing right now is lasting for like 60 seconds. I turn off the water, dry off, then I do skincare, which is one of my favorite parts. I like just a simple cleanser, toner, serum, moisturizer, and then most of the time if I'm staying inside, I don't put on SPF just because you're kind of, it's a block, right? So if, if I'm just gonna be inside during the day, I won't put on SPF, but I make sure if I'm going outside to put on SPF then later on in the day. I also like to finish the morning skincare with facial massage. I love a good gua sha moment. Um, if I'm feeling like luxurious, maybe a facial mask or something, but I usually don't have that time in the morning, but I definitely try to do just a couple minutes of massaging the face. I try to move lymph out of my face and fluid. We can be really puffy um, if there's excess fluid hanging around in our skin. So if you can work in some facial massage, that feels really good in the morning. After I finish the skincare, and most of the time if I'm just working from home, I don't have meetings or I'm not filming anything, I will just do a bare face. I love doing a bare face and just letting the skin breathe and soak in the good skincare products. I also, if I feel like I want to put makeup on that day, I'll do a quick easy makeup routine. My makeup I can probably do in like five minutes and I've switched all to clean, non-toxic makeup. So um, it's not like a huge ordeal. It's pretty simple, but sometimes I don't do that. So after I'm completely ready for the day and I'm about to sit down to start my work, that is when I make my morning coffee beverage. Sometimes I cycle off of caffeine and I'll do like a caffeine-free latte, which I have a video I think about that or a blog post about that. I'll link that below. When I'm doing coffee, I love to add mushrooms to my morning coffee blend. And I have found this mix that I've been using and loving. And that actually brings me to winged wellness. I am going to show you the blend that I've been adding to most of my coffee drinks in the morning and freaking loving it. I'm never actually really just drinking straight up coffee. I'm always adding some sort of these special adaptogens, some way that I can get plant magic happening in my coffee drink. And this blend from Winged that I'm gonna tell you about. So a side note about Winged, they are kindly sponsoring this video and I am so incredibly excited to partner with them. They are a female founded business. Winged is rooted in this idea that when a woman feels good, she is unstoppable and what is better than that? I could not agree with that more. When we feed ourselves from the inside out with mind, body, soul, which can come from your morning routine, you are really unstoppable. And this is why becoming the happiest, healthiest version of ourself is so key to getting the life that we dream of. So back to Winged. Winged graciously reached out to collaborate and actually sponsor this video. And I could not be more grateful to collaborate with this company. So quality is 
extremely important to me and the ingredients of the product is extremely important to me. I mean, that's a first must. If you're buying any sort of product, you always want to check out the quality and the integrity of the product, which is why Winged was such a no-brainer for me to try their blends and to collaborate with them on this video because of their attention to quality. Most of the ingredients you'll find in this product are organic and they have such an attention to detail to the quality of what they're putting in their blend. And they're so thoughtful about the things they actually make. Seriously, the blend in the mix I'm gonna show you, which is called Happy Start for the morning, is so thoughtful and all of the ingredients in this blend are working together to really boost you in the morning for the day in front of you. The Happy Start Mix is basically like this perfect brain boosting happy little addition that you can put in your morning beverage and if you don't drink coffee you could put it in tea or a caffeine free latte. I'll link a caffeine free latte below, this would be the perfect addition to that. You could even add this in your morning smoothie. It's basically a powder mix that will go really well in a smoothie. You could also mix it into a hot beverage. I like to kind of set this out on my counter next to my coffee cup the night before because I'm not really thinking about too much then the next day. It's just there, it's ready for me. This is kind of a theme you'll notice throughout the day. I like to set up all these things the night before. So in the morning, I'm not really thinking about much. Everything is there and I'm just ready to go. So let's talk a little bit about ingredients in Happy Start Blend that you would then be putting in your coffee or hot drink or smoothie that you'd be getting tons of benefits from throughout the day. Shatavari is an adaptogen that is really helpful for boosting our mood and balancing our hormone health. Anything that is balancing hormone health, I'm a big fan of. Maca, which I've previously done a video breaking down all about what maca is, where it comes from, I'll link that here. That's an incredible adaptogen for boosting our energy. There is a ton of other benefits to maca. It can help with hormones as well. If you wanna go more in depth in maca, that YouTube video is a good place to start. This blend also has reishi mushrooms. If you are not working some sort of mushrooms into your everyday, definitely look into it because mushrooms are little powerhouses that can have such beautiful benefits for our body. And reishi mushrooms is a fantastic adaptogen for boosting our immune system. It's very important to have strong, healthy immune systems. I'm sure we all know this, especially from the last few years that we've been living in. Immune systems are very, very important. If you can add something into your daily aside from the beautiful foods that you eat, an extra adaptogen in a smoothie or a coffee, that's a beautiful benefit. This mix also has ashwagandha. Now I touched on ashwagandha before actually in my night routine video, which I'll link here. That can actually help to fight stress and keep us calm, which that's actually really helpful during our work day because I don't think operating from a place of anxiety and fight or flight every single day is sustainable long-term. So I think finding this calm, focus. I mean, that, that's been very important to me, figuring out how to have this calm, peaceful focus and maintaining that every single day. Sometimes I am completely anxious and operating <laughs> from fight or flight, but the more I can kind of work in this calm, peaceful focus state during the day, that is something I'm definitely shooting for. So to add kind of an adaptogen, to add an ingredient like ashwagandha in my morning, I've actually been loving it. Another mushroom that the Happy Star blend contains is lion's mane. I'm gonna link a blog post I wrote all about lion's mane below. Lion's mane is probably my favorite mushroom ever. It's incredible for brain health, focus, clarity, and it's also incredible for supporting our mood. If you wanna check out more on Lion's Mane, that blog post is linked. So we have the ashwagandha and the reishi mushrooms in this blend to really support our mood and support our adrenal glands, which is very important. If we're running on fight or flight all the time, we are going to really be impacting negatively our adrenal glands. So to kind of have ingredients that help to balance things out, that's incredible. So our adrenal glands are these tiny triangle shaped glands located at the top of our kidneys. Our adrenal glands produce hormones that help respond to stress in our body. They help to regulate our blood pressure, our metabolism, and our immune system. The blend of ashwagandha plus reishi is really there to help us balance stress throughout the day. The maca in the blend is one of my favorite adaptogens because it's like really the adaptogen for energy. So I love that the blend has maca in it. Maca can also help to improve memory and learning, which is super cool. I 
I love maca. <laughs> and that improving memory and learning, that is also a benefit of the lion's mane, which is also in the blend. That can help to soothe anxiety and just promote overall brain health. So our hormones also get some love from this mix. When we have balanced hormones, we feel better overall. Having unbalanced hormones can throw off so many different things in our body. This is something I have been focusing on for the past I feel like year to get really detailed, but I won't get too detailed. I used to have very bad PMS symptoms, cramps, a lot of things. And as I've been working on balancing my hormones over the last year, I've noticed those cramps have almost completely gone away. PMS symptoms are not normal and they shouldn't be considered normal. And we can actually do things to balance hormones in our body. And what an empowering thing to realize that we can actually do things, choose different activities, choose different foods that can actually support balancing the hormones in our bodies. When we have big hormone fluctuations or neurotransmitter imbalances, we can feel like we are on an emotional roller coaster. I have been there many times. The more we can balance our hormones, the better it is for our body and for our mental health. So, this blend also has lemon balm, which is a lemon scented herb, kind of like mint. And there was actually a study in 2004 that linked taking lemon balm with a decrease negative mood. So lemon balm has been found to help ease anxiety and improve cognitive function. So the shatavari and the lemon balm in combination with something called chase tree, chase tree has actually been linked to helping ease PMS symptoms. So these things together can really help with balancing hormones and I know balancing hormones is very, very important to me because I want to kind of not be on a roller coaster throughout the month. <laughs> so basically after I make the coffee, I add a touch of the happy start mix to it and I'm ready to go. So I wanna thank Winged again for collaborating with me on this video. They're an incredible female founded company with such an attention to quality and detail and they have a ton of other blends and they have skincare stuff too. I'm gonna link Winged up below if you wanna check more of their stuff out. After I make this coffee blend, I am ready to sit down and work and that is kind of where my morning routine ends. Each of these things in the morning has helped me with energy, focus, mental clarity, and just having this overall sense of like calm, peaceful focus. This is not possible every day. You know, life is not perfect some days. We stay up too late and then we sleep in. I guess I'll just talk for myself. Some days I stay up too late and I sleep in and I don't get to have the full morning routine. When I do prioritize sleep and I'm able to get up early and do this morning routine, I feel invincible as I'm working throughout the day. And if you're on a journey where you are running after your dreams, whether that's you're on a creator, you're on an entrepreneurial journey, you wanna be your best self and you're going to work, doing things in the morning that can really put you in a state of health, happiness and focus for your day, you're gonna just be that much more equipped to take on your day and that's what we want. I think the key to figuring out a great morning routine is to figure out the things that really put you in a state that you wanna be in. If that's feeling healthy and happy and focused, what are the activities that kind of put you in that state to take on your day? And if you don't know right now, that's okay too. Just grab a journal and start taking notes. When you do something, if you get outside for a walk tomorrow and that feels incredible, write that down and you can build your own beautiful morning routine. So again, a special thanks to Winged. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'd love to know a little bit more about your morning routine and what you love to do in the mornings, in the comments. And if you wanna see more plant-based health and wellness and travel videos from me, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss an upload. I'll see you again soon, bye.